Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today I'm coming at you to sew up the straight fit Arctic pullover sweater. Yes, I'm wearing it right now. This is the sweater we're going to be sewing up. And also, I'm going to be showing you not only the zip up option, but I'm also going to show you the button up option. Ta-da, here it is, and I also love it. I think that this button up option is super cute as well. Um, this is just a full button up right now because I put the buttons on, but not the, the button holes, but I'll get to that. So, I love how this pattern turned out. I can't wait to sew it together. So, let's get to it. All right, I am actually gonna start with the zipper option, but if you're going to do the button placket, I will uh, show you how to do that at a later step. Um, but everything else uh, after I do the plackets will be the same. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and fold a quarter inch at the top of the um, collar, the zipper collar, which is also the same thing. You will do the same thing for the button placket, the button color. After you steam it a quarter inch, then we're going to fold it in half. All right, so now we're going to take a couple of measurements. I've got my collar and I now have opened it. And here where my, that middle crease is, I'm going to measure from that middle crease down. Um, that is three and a half inches for me. And I'm going to subtract a quarter inch. So that's three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to write that down because I'm going to need that number a little bit later. Next, I'm going to grab my zipper that I'm going to use. And I'm going to measure from the top of the zipper to the zipper stopper. Now I've got um, this ruler is not big enough. Oh, yeah, it is. It's about six and three quarters. It's seven. It's seven exactly. So we're going to grab the seven. And we're going to subtract the three and a quarter. 3.75. So now I'm going to cut a strip of interfacing one and a quarter wide by 3.75, which is what I need um, up past this right here for my zipper. I've got my front bodice now here and I'm gonna uh, fold it in half and I'm gonna steam at that line. I'm just steaming right at the front. You don't have to steam all the way down. You just need that measurement that you got. That's all you're steaming. Then you're going to open it up and right where that middle is, we're gonna place that interfacing that you just created out of the measurement that you got. And we're going to attach it to our bodice. Then we're going to draw a line right down the middle. I'm gonna mark it with my water soluble pen. All right, now to figure out how wide I wanna make my box, I wanna go from, uh, oops, this way. I'm gonna go from the center of my zipper out and see how big my zipper tape is. And mine is a little bit over a half an inch. Usually what you wanna see, it's about a quarter inch of the tape. So you would wanna make like a, a, a line a quarter inch away from that center. Um, so if that's what you want, it just depends. You're going to measure and see how wide you want it. If you want the box to be wider, if you want to see more of the, of the uh, zipper, then you make it a little bit wider. If you want to see less of the zipper, then you can make it a little bit more narrow. But I think a quarter inch on mine will be good. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go a quarter inch from here and I'm going to draw my box. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut about two inches here at the top, a couple of inches. We grab our back and put it face up, and then we grab our front and we put it face down right at the shoulders, and we're gonna sew those shoulders together. Now we're going to attach our collar. We're gonna grab our collar here. We're gonna fold it in half, and the bottom edge, the edge that is not uh, folded. Remember we folded a quarter inch at the top. The bottom edge, we're going to mark the half, the back of it. I'm just going to mark it. And then I'm going to ma mark the half of my bodice as well. Here on the back. And then right sides together, I'm going to match up that back. And then I'm going to come all the way around to the front. That's where that edge is going to go. 
then I'm gonna clip them evenly and sew that raw edge. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew that together. I'm gonna grab my zipper tape and I'm gonna fold it kind of down out of the way uh, for easier, you know, for working with and I'm going to baste it down. Probably easier if I just went ahead and put my zipper foot on now, but I'm just, just trying to baste it down. Once we've basted that zipper down, we're gonna grab our bodice working from the wrong side. I'm gonna go right here where my fold is at my neck and place my zipper right up to it. And then measure, put my zipper all the way on straight. And this is where I'm going to, where my zipper stopper is. That's where I'm going to mark. And obviously I did not do my measurements correctly on my zipper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more interfacing. So it's as long as I need it to be. Thankfully, I have a little bit of interfacing that I cut off. So I'm just gonna add it to that. I'm gonna steam it on there and add it to that. And then I'm going to um, finish off the box and I'm gonna add those lines right here of where my box is. This is where it's gonna stop. So it's gonna go straight to the to right up to the line that we created and go all the way down to the zipper stop and that's where my lines are. My iron's turning off so I better go grab it and steam that real quick. All right now that I've got it uh, all set up and ready and my box has been marked I'm gonna go sew a stitch starting and go down and then turn pivot and then go right up to create that zipper box um, you may want to do a smaller stitch here towards the bottom and turn so it's a tighter stitch so it creates a really nice little bond from here we're gonna grab our ruler and we're gonna measure a quarter inch up from the uh, line, from the line you created. And we're gonna go out and create a little like triangle. So from that quarter inch, we're gonna go out to one inch and then we're gonna go to the other edge. And here's my middle line right there. So now we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut that open. Up to the quarter inch and then down to one side, but don't cut your thread. You go right up to it, but don't cut your thread, and then down to the other side. And now you're ready to add your zipper. Now here's the front of my sweater, and right side up, I've got my zipper, and it is open. Then I'm gonna grab my side. This is my side that's gonna go on this side, because then when we turn it, it'll flip over. We're gonna place it, we're gonna place it right sides together, starting here at that crease that we created. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew it with a zipper foot. Wow. We wanna make sure that the raw edges are touching and we're going. All right, when we're almost to this bottom area, right, when we're almost to this bottom area, you may wanna move the zipper. So I'm gonna lift the zipper up, the zipper, and then keep going because it will get in your way when you get over here. back stitch and here we go or one side of the zipper is attached all right so there is your zipper one side and then we're gonna open it up and then do the other side so we're kind of folding it right on top on the other side um, so let me move this up a little bit so I can get it together what, well, what you want to do first before you do that is you want to make sure that you line it up and you know exactly where your marks are. You can close this up actually. And where your half point is right here. So that way when you're sewing it, you make sure that that is going to be right there. And we're going to sew it um, even. So then from there, you just go up and down, just like you did the other side. We'll go ahead and sew that down and come back up. I'm actually gonna start at the bottom on this side because I just want to. <laughs> like to sew from this side. 
All right, we are done. And we've got this little triangle here. Our zipper looks nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck that triangle into the back. All right, here it is. So now we're going to stitch it to our zipper tape going back and forth right here and stitch it down. I'm gonna stitch it from this side so I can see exactly where my zipper is so I get it just right. You wanna turn it around and check it and make sure that you cut it just right. And our zipper is done. Yay! Now we're gonna grab our collar. We're gonna fold this down over our zipper and our allowance should still be folded up and it should come pretty much right to that seam where the collar front was. And we're gonna go ahead and sew it. Make sure to use the same seam allowance that you used for your zipper because when you sew it, it'll be encased in there. That's gonna be super cute. All right, again, we're gonna flip it out our zipper, we're gonna grab our collar, we're gonna flip it over and here. We're gonna fold that, keep that seam allowance down folded. It comes right to that seam right there and we're going to sew it. All right, so now we just turn it. You can trim some of this right here. Your extra zipper tape in the corner. We're gonna turn it and cross our fingers. And there it is. Our zipper is completed. It looks really good. Now we just need to top stitch it all down, but it looks good. Now we just go around the whole, flip the seam allowance up and cover, cover it with our um, color and then we're gonna top stitch it down. All right, let's go top stitch that down. And our neck is done. Now we just have to add our sleeves and our bands and we'll be done with this cool looking sweater. How cool. We did it. We finished it and it looks so good. And we did it. How cool is that? Now I'm just gonna give it a good steam. But look at that. I love it. All right, let's get on to our next step. I forgot to mention it is optional to top stitch around it. And I think I will because my fabric is kind of flimsy. So it kind of moves around a little bit. So I'm gonna top stitch it so, it, it so it's a little bit straighter. So it won't like be wiggly looking. So I'll probably go ahead and top stitch all the way around the outer edge of my zipper. All right, now once the whole neckline is done, we're gonna go ahead and sew our side seams. While I'm at it, I'm gonna grab my sleeve and I'm going to sew them right sides together at that outer seam. Now I'm also going to go ahead and prep my armbands and my waistband now. So that way I have them ready for when I go to, after I sew the sides and I'll sew the sleeves on, but I'll have these ready to sew on as well. And we're doing that by matching the short raw edges right sides together and sewing that side for our cuffs. And then for our waistband, I'm going to match that short raw edge and sew it right sides together. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead. We have our pieces ready, we have our sleeves ready. We're gonna fold it in half and mark the top. And you should have marked the front and the back of the sleeve so that you know which one's the front and which one is the back. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fit it into your um, sleeve arm side. The arm side is the little hole where the sleeve goes in that I didn't even know what it was called for the longest time and I used to call it armsicle, but it's not armsicle, it's your arm side. And we're gonna match up the top with the shoulder seam and the bottom seam with the side seam. And then we're gonna match our edges, right sides together, all the way around. You know how I said that you should have marked your front on your back? But then I didn't mark my front on my back. I didn't listen to what I said because, you know, sometimes you think you don't need to. 
and then you put your sleeve in there and then it doesn't fit. Yep, that was the case. So now I'm trying it again with the other sleeve because I forgot to mark my sleeve and I was just thinking that I knew better and I don't. So make sure you mark your sleeve or you will be doing this a couple times. Now, you can go ahead and sew that up and then come back and do the um, bands and stuff, but I like to do everything at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those up so that I can go ahead and do them. So here are my sleeves right here. And here is one of my cuffs. I'm gonna fold my cuff in half, wrong sides together. Here's my seams. And then I'm gonna go to the half and mark it. And I'm going to do the same for my sleeve. Here's my half of my sleeve. Here's my seam. And I'm gonna fit my cuff right in there, right sides together, and match up the seams and the half. And I'm gonna sew it on, stretching as I go. Now for the band, I'm gonna fold and touch those two seams, side seams, and go to the front. And then go to the back. And I'm also going to grab my band, fold it wrong sides together like I did my cuff. And then come from the back to the front, mark it. And then from that back and front, match them together and go and mark my sides. Now I already have my sides and my front and back marked. So now I'm going to fit that right sides together at the raw edge. So we're matching those right sides together, the front with the front where that seam is, that's my back. So they match that with the back of my sweater my sides, my front, and my other side. And now we're gonna go sew all that on and we'll be done with this version. All right, I don't know if you are wondering what all these, why do I have so much fabric coming? It's because this fabric um, likes to roll as I'm pulling it. Um, it is uh, long enough on me that I, if I cut off a tiny bit, the length, um, it's fine. So that's why I didn't worry about it. But that's the only reason why I'm cutting a little bit more than my seam allowance. It's because my fabric's rolling, so I'm making up for that by coming in a little bit. If you don't have enough length to do that and you're worried about it, your fabric is rolling like mine is, you may want to do a uh, put a little bit of starch, give it a good steam, um, and that will help the fabric not roll uh, as much. Time to work on our placket, and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm applying some interfacing. I trimmed my interfacing uh, by a half an inch, so I have a quarter inch on each side because my fabric is very bulky and I don't wanna have so much bulk on my placket. Now that that interface is attached, we're gonna grab the sides and fold them in a quarter inch towards the interface, towards the wrong side. This fabric does not like to stay folded because then I'm gonna fold it in half again keeping those in. So I'm gonna fold it, I'm gonna bring, on mine since it's been so stubborn, I'm gonna have to like bring it like this. It's a fleece lined fabric, so that's why it likes to just poof out. So I'm gonna do the same for the other one. Now we're gonna open our placket, and I know mine is kinda cut right there, but it'll be fine. Um, we're going to, I, I didn't have enough fabric. <laughs> And so I'm using my little scraps. From the top, we're gonna mark a half an inch. And then at the bottom, we're gonna draw a quarter inch. Okay, so quarter inch, half an inch. Now I'm gonna grab my collar and at the top, I'm gonna fold a quarter inch at the top. Then I'm gonna fold in half. Now I'm going to open it up and on the right side, I'm gonna mark on the outer edges three quarter inches in. This will help me keep my, um, it will help me line up my edges correctly when I am when I am doing the placket. This is a water soluble marker, so 
this will come off when I wash it. All right, so here's my front and it's folded in half. And here's my mark for my placket. So we're gonna steam this, give it a, a crease right here to that placket mark. I'm going to open it up and where I mark that, I'm gonna grab a one and a half inch strip of interfacing and I'm going to attach it right over that crease. Now, uh, I wanna make sure that I still have that crease, so I'm gonna give it another steam. Because now on the right side, I'm gonna draw that line with my water soluble marker. And then I'm gonna go out a three quarter inch on each side. Now I'm gonna snip down two inches from the top. Just a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and sew those shoulders, right sides together. Now we're gonna grab our collar and we're gonna mark our half of the back. And we're gonna do the same for our top, match those shoulders and go to the back. And then right sides together, we're gonna match that collar to the back. and then all the way around to that front. And then match those ridges. And then we're gonna go sew all the way around. All right, we're grabbing our placket and that half, that mark that you created here is gonna go right, like the crease is gonna go right over where that line you created. And then also at the top is my quarter inch, though I, it's not marked, it is there cause that's my quarter inch right there at the bottom is the half an inch. The half an inch is where you're gonna stop stitching. So you're gonna stitch and stop there. The quarter inch here, it should be right at the line, the crease where your uh, top is. See that crease right there? I don't know if you can really see it, but that's where that quarter inch is gonna go right over that crease. And then the line is gonna go right over that line and we're gonna pin and we're gonna do that for both sides. And we're doing that to the front side of the uh, top. Make sure that your lines are nice and even with each other. If they're not, move it around and make sure that they are. They need to line up. Then we're gonna go really slowly and stitch this down, making sure that you're looking as you're sewing it that it's stitching correctly. I used a back and forth stitch when I first started back up right over that line. So then I'm gonna grab my collar and I'm going to fold it out like so towards that. See, this is my color. I'm gonna fold it towards the color so they're matched the right sides together. And I'm gonna match it up and sew at that quarter inch seam allowance here, making sure not to uh, sew my collar. We're just gonna stop right there at the collar and back stitch. And then same on the other side. We're gonna trim the center strip of fabric down the middle and just do it right up until that line. You may not wanna cut all the way down, like I cut it really low and then, cause I'm only gonna have a little space right here. So you may not want to do that. So when you're looking at mine, you're looking at it and you're thinking, you have yours, yours goes all the way down. Mine shouldn't go all the way down because then right here, I'm gonna come right up until that line right here and this is gonna get tucked behind there. But if I go any farther down that, that line that I, cre that I drew, then I'm going to have a gap. So make sure that you have enough to fold it under. I had cut it down the middle and that's not really what you want. You want this opening here. You wanna cut the sides of it and then you can tuck this back. All right, now that that's sewn, we're gonna kind of clip the, you can clip the extra seam allowance on the corners. Don't clip your thread. And now we're gonna fold it out. See that? And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Fold it out. Okay. Now I'm gonna open this and turn it 
right side out. I've got my collar here where I met it. My seam allowance is going up. I'm going to uh, push this seam towards the inside of my placket. I'm going to grab the seam of the color. The color has this allowance here. I'm going to tuck in this placket seam right here while I bring the color down and then I'm going to tuck it in there. So I'm going to sew this closed. It's a little piece right there. Okay. From this side, this is what it looks like. I have a lot of bulk because mine, I have this like really thick fabric. The seam allowance of the, remember the color that we created there, make sure that that's folded under because we're going to top stitch it down. And this is coming right over that seam right here, the seam allowance. Now I made my uh, interfacing a little bit bigger so you can see it. So I'll probably just try to somehow trim that after I'm done so you can't see it from the outside. After I'm done, I'll probably just trim that up a little bit. Okay, and then you're gonna stitch, top stitch that down. Here's what it looks like on the outside. You're top stitching along the edge, making sure that it's all nice and tucked in here on the inside. Because this is gonna also get top stitched along the back, covering that stitch right here at the back. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. And this little piece right here, we'll worry about that later. See how you can't see interfacing on this side? Cause I cut this interfacing on this side. I, I did it right on the other side was a little bit wider. So that's what you can see it. And obviously you don't wanna see that. So I'm just gonna kinda of pull at it and try to get it off. I think I can. All right, so now I'm gonna to go top stitch that on the two sides so that um, this is top stitched down. All right, so that is finished. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the left one and make it go right behind there and then put the right one right on top. So from the back, you'll have your piece um, that was straight and then your two plackets here and you um, are going to flip it from the front and you're gonna top stitch it here at the make sure they're lined up evenly and everything and you're gonna top stitch here at the bottom a straight line and that should top stitch all three of them down but make sure that everything is looking even and nice before you top stitch it down right on top of each other once I'm done sewing there then all I have to do is top stitch the back here like we top stitched on the other one and I'm going to also do like a crisscross box here so I'm going to do all that over there at my sewing machine. Alright, so there is our placket finished with that little crisscross, and now we're going to do our neckline. We are done. Now all I have to do is attach my buttons and finish up the rest of it, and we are done with our button placket. Alrighty friends, we are finished. What did you think of that? It wasn't as hard as you thought it was going to be, was it? I love it. I think it turned out amazing. The length is perfect. I went, I get this question a lot. Um, what size did you go with? I measured myself and I went with the size that I fell under, which for me was a size small. Um, and it fits perfectly. No adjustments whatsoever. And if it's really, really good, I love it. Um, I also used a looped French terry fabric. Um, has a, not a, well, it has really good stretch, but it has good recovery and it's a little bit of a thicker fabric. So it's a nice, comfy fit. I am um, obsessed. I hope you go ahead and grab your fabric, grab your pattern and sew it up with me. Comment below and let me know which option you're going to be sewing up first, because I know you're going to sew up every option because why not? They are super cute. If you have not, please comment, like, share, subscribe, so you never miss any of our sewing tutorials. Come find us on Facebook and Instagram where all kinds of people are sharing their beautiful makes with us. Um, so we want you to join us so you can share your makes with us. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.